What we're talking about today is the three uh, XAML namespaces that get generated automatically when you create a WPF project. And the first namespace is the WPF namespace, which is uh, HTTP colon slash slash schemas dot Microsoft dot com slash win FX slash 2006 slash XAML slash presentation and that looks like it's a, a URL to get to the internet Be and that's basically because XML understands URI format but what it really is is just a local description a local name for a namespace that's defined in a way that Microsoft feels sure no one else is going to accidentally create a namespace with the same name and one of the reasons I feel so sure is that schemas.microsoft.com is a domain name that's, ne that's owned by them. So legally, no one's supposed to create a name that looks like this. But as I say, it's not actually a internet address. It's a uh, namespace name on the local computer. And you declare this namespace without a prefix so that it's the default namespace for the entire document which means that every element that's placed into uh, the WPF design view and so on are automatically placed into this namespace and the second namespace is the XAML namespace which is basically the same URI format without the slash presentation on the end and this is declared with a x colon namespace prefix which basically means you can define other elements with a x colon and it'll end up being put into the XAML namespace and the third namespace is the namespace that's directly related to your program that you're created you're creating and it has a name like barebones01.mainwindow or bare, where barebones01 is whatever your project name is and that generates the code namespace barebones01 and then public partial class mainwindow derived from the window class and as I say it's declared via x colon class attribute and all these uh, declarations are within the top tag which is usually the window tag and basically it creates a code behind where you can put all your event handler code and things like that and for the first two namespaces they use the uh, WPF uses the XML NS attribute uh, which is reserved for declaring namespaces So if we go on to Visual C Sharp uh, 2010 Express and say create a new project and then select uh, WPF application. Oops, I took the default name which was WPF application 1 which I didn't want to do but what the heck. And you see our code behind uh, namespace x colon class which is all within the window tag which is the top tag for the document and that's our namespace of our project and the class that's the partial class that the code gets put into and then we have XML NS equal to and we have our WPF namespace and then XML NS colon X which specifies the uh, namespace prefix which you can use all over the document if you want to put uh, attributes and elements into or the uh, the XAML namespace which you quite often do especially if you want to have something that's globally defined like in a resource and then the other uh, attributes are just the title of the window and the height of the window and the width of the window and so on then we have our designer view, our XAML view, and our code behind view, which it 
generated in a window because for some reason it's taking a single click as a double click kind of irritating and that has our generated namespace which is the application name and then our partial class of main window uh, that's derived from the window class and then as we generate uh, event handlers it's going to be put into this uh, uh, partial class of the main project namespace that's defined with the x colon class attribute well I hope you enjoyed this video and learned a lot and I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe